Welcome to CAS 133 Basic Computer Skills, Microsoft Office, Columbia Gorge Community College, the Dells, Oregon, Linda Hewitt Instructor. We're going to be looking at week 7 now. Week 7 is going to be the second PowerPoint chapter, and it's also going to include some work with external devices. So let's walk our way through it. Again, you have some support material, and you have your unit goals, your direction summary, your summary. Here's the external devices um, PowerPoint to download that you're going to need to look at before you're ready to do your form this week. Your student data files are again included. You'll upload your learning PowerPoint project from the textbook, step by step from the chapter, and we'll talk our way through that in just a minute. The application project from those yellow pages at the back of the chapter. Your 321 reflection journal. And again, you have your extra credit upload link. Now there is a forum link, apparently it was shut when I switched to student view, so I'll have to open it again. But I do that each time in each term, we open and close links. So let's go to our textbook, get your book out. Let's go to the second PowerPoint chapter, Enhancing a Presentation with Picture, Shape, and Word Art. It starts on PPT 74. Look at PPT 75. You're going to notice that you're going to have a title slide you're going to have a second slide that has a formatted picture included. Slide 3 is going to have shapes inserted and formatted. And slide 4 is going to use a picture for the background with word art inserted and formatted. So you're going to, have to be careful to follow all the steps for that. Again, it gives you your roadmap. It talks about downloading a theme and editing a slide. So you're going to need to follow those directions very carefully because you're going to need, need to search for and download an online theme. If you're trying to do this without internet access, you may need to be in a location where you do in fact have internet access because you're not going to be able to do a download without that. So for this week's unit, it's going to be important to have internet access while working in PowerPoint. I'm going to go through and be creating some slides. It's going to talk you through basically all the steps you need to take as you go through to do each of your slides. Again, on PPT 96, if you've not gotten themes and you've not gotten the right thing set early on, you're going to find that you don't have the colors and the choices that the book is asking you to use. And that, again, is something that you're going to need to go back and fix. Because if you have it set right, you will have the fonts and the themes and the colors and the backgrounds and all those types of things that you should have that it's asking you to do. All right. Now you're going to use the emergency col uh, collage. Can't read it that small. I think that's time for new glasses. Um, about being prepared. And again, if you're looking for files, you're going to find it in those student data files that I'm supplying for you. So make sure you're checking there. As you work your way through, again, you've got to be watching for your colors. Make sure you're setting the correct fonts. Make sure you're checking for spelling, capitals, all of those types of things as you're going through it. Make sure you set document properties. Make sure you set, I mean, all those types of things that kind of sneak up to you if you're not watching it. It's going to have you inserting some slide numbers. Make sure you actually insert those. That's on WD-118. And then it is going to have you set up for printing speaker notes. Those can be extremely handy if you're the speaker and you've put together a presentation. You don't obviously want everything you're going to say to be written on your PowerPoint slide. But it is really nice to have the slides in front of you to look at, especially if you're in an auditorium setting where the screen is showing behind you. You look a little silly presenting to a large group turned around with your back to them so you can see your slides. So again, that's one of those situations where it's really nice to have that printed copy, especially if you're walking in to a situation that you don't know where the computer is going to be set up compared to where you're going to be standing compared to where it's going to be showing on the screens. So it's better prepared than sorry and trying to do it backwards. So what else is in there? Well, it's going to bring you down to your summary page like we've had each time. So if you find that is a little helpful, there you go. And we're into the yellow pages. Those yellow pages 
Again, when you hit the in the lab ones, those are the ones that you can use for the extra credit. But if you did an extra credit last week in PowerPoint, you cannot do a second PowerPoint extra credit. But if you've not done one for PowerPoint, you can do one then if you would like to. Again, remember you can have a total of two extra credits in a term and each one of those needs to be from a different area. So you can have one word, one PowerPoint, or one word, one Excel, or one PowerPoint, one Excel, however you'd like to combine them. And as you continue through those yellow pages, you're of course going to run into your consider this your turn, which is your application project. You have the chance to create and design a presentation about skydiving from New Heights. Presentation about teaching geometry to elementary students. Or again, your collaborate one, which you're not really collaborating on, you are the full team. The one and the only presentation about coyotes or coyotes roaming in your neighborhood. For your forum this week, you will be addressing external devices, so make sure you have viewed the PowerPoint. If you have any questions, again, be sure you send me an email.